this one was a 85 signal at two inches um so i didn't think i thought it was trash but it doesn't look like trash here let's take a look it looks like a big old fat rim literally look i'm right there look see how dude that's not even not even two inches let's check it out oh, oh thing up. I freaking did it. I, I totally freaking did it. I'm so stoked. All the people I brought out here to go digging, I've never been able to get a real period. Look at the hole. Oh, oh yeah, I could just, just barely make out the pillows so on it. Alright, I cleaned her up. You and me had a lot of chemistry. There's too many here. things to light inside of me. So I should like to see you come along. Baby, we've been long. Ooh, ooh, I'm Hey everybody, today is Sunday, May 7th. Um, I'm on my way right now to go digging with my buddy Chris. We got a special invite to come back to a, uh, a early 1709 property. Um, we have exclusive permission, nobody else could ever dig here. It's called Friendship Hall. Um, <clears throat> we started digging last week which you're gonna see in the first part of this video uh, but obviously this is the second part and this is the second time we're going um, but today we have all day to dig out there so we're gonna find all kinds of great stuff we were only out there for an hour last time and I found something so super amazing to me that I, I about cried um, and you'll see I had to keep real real quiet because I started to flip out. I didn't want the homeowner who was 30 feet from me to start, you know, saying, why is he acting like that? What did he find? What did he find? And then come, you know, take all my stuff and tell us we couldn't dig there anymore because we found something super awesome. Um, that's how it usually happens around here. So if we find something like that, we, we kind of have to mellow ourselves out. Um, now we do offer everything at the end to all the homeowners um, that's just a sign of respect but I like to take everything take it all home clean it and then bring it all back to them as kind of like a surprise thank you um, <clears throat> every property that we get the homeowners always just tell us keep everything that we find but uh, we, we still like to try to you know respect them and, and offer up what we what we get um, as you can see my face is kind of puffy still I had an abscess tooth and that that's some bitch I mean it swelled up super super bad um, it was it was horrible I had to call out of work the other day <clears throat> it was that bad but uh enjoy the hunt and I hope I find some great stuff for you guys today
my buddy Chris. He's already hard at work. I ended up being late. He beat me here. Look at him digging. He didn't, even, he didn't realize I'm videotaping him. He'll probably punch me in the nuts for this. All right, guys, let's have some fun today. <laughs> All right, guys, I just yelled bingo, so Chris came a running. Um, I just got us permission on the 1700s, early 1700s house, and uh, the homeowners are super, super awesome. But uh, I just got some roundness in the hole. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it was ringing... in the low 70s is it a button no it's a coin no it's a button it's a button had some super crazy gold gilt on it i'm gonna uh have chris food this for me you gotta pull it up and push it down when you get a uh, Let's see here. Dab it off on my pants. Alright, just standard button on that side. Beautiful. It says standard. Something standard. Don't know, guys. Here's a close up. I'm going to have to, uh, Clean it up and get you better pictures. Cool. It's fun, man. That's right. We're having a good day already. We've only been out here for a half hour. <clears throat> All right. So I'm under this ginormous. Here, I'll give you a, a shot of the house and the ginormous tree behind me. Um, I just found like a. A token necklace I don't know it looks like it says eat rice but I'll let you look at it <sighs> something I think it said something trice it's really old I mean it's it's early 1900s late 1800s I'll take it home, I'll clean it up, see if I can get you something better off of it. But, it's it's slow picking. Uh, we haven't really gone up around the house. We're not going to have time to do it today. I'm going to have to come back for it. But it's getting done. Have you seen that thing? It's... Do another quick shot here. Let me get the homeowner out the way. Oh, look at that. And that's enough. That's enough. That's, that's called uh, colonial porn. All right, guys. I'm not going to try to get all excited and yell, but I got some big silver shiny, and it's real thin. Hang on. I'm flipping it over now. I mean, I don't know exactly what it is yet. I just have an idea. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to feel it. I'm going to feel it. Let me sit it here so I can feel it. Yes. That's a two, baby. It might even be a four. No, that's a two. Come on, Carlos. Come on out of there, Carlos.
This is my first ever two freaking real. Let me, let me try to dry it off here. I'm not wiping it. I'm dabbing it with the shirt. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna lick this bad boy. If I, can't do if I can't get it off with the foo, this is beautiful, and this is the only reason I'm doing this, guys. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. That's gross, but it's good. Come on, date. 17... 32. 1732. 17. That's my oldest silver period. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're done for the day. Uh, we only spent about an hour here. It was good enough just to get a little bit of footage and to get out for a couple minutes, you know, enjoy the beautiful weather. It's been raining real bad. I got my family up there in the shagging wagon yelling at me telling me hurry up hurry up so i'm gonna do the wrap up and uh i'm gonna get off here here you go guys here's chris's stuff for the day he's been here he got here an hour and a half before i did he's got uh this is the trigger guard for a musket it would usually be bent you know, whoop, like that. That's a good find. Um, some little lock plate thing. A little piece of metal. Looks like a lock plate. It's an old Peter Button. We got an old 40. No, what, what caliber? I don't even know what caliber that is. It's an old pistol bullet, though. He's got a musket ball. He's got a piece of the horse chain like I had. He's got one Weedy. One Jeffersonian. He's got this little flat button. It might have detail, but he didn't clean it up out in the field. Now it's caked, so we shall never know. He's got another one here. He found this as we were walking out. This button's seen better days. That bad boy is chewed up. And then we've got two pieces of saddle straps. Alright, let's see. Let's go over to my finds. I found a bunch of stuff, but it was all just dumb stuff that you would find every day. Soda caps and... I found a couple flatties, but you know what a flatty looks like. I did find another hatchet head. That's that's an oldie, so I'm going to keep it, run it through some electrolysis. I did find that awesome button that I videotaped. This thing is super, super sweet. It says gold color. Okay, hang on. Let me try to get this to zoom in a little better for you. I don't know why I won't focus. Oh, it says standard color, and then it's got the eagle. I have no idea the back mark. I've never seen the back mark before. Um, I just tried to look it up, and I couldn't figure it out. <clears throat> and then the star of the show. We've got... It is a 1782 to Real. Carlos the third looking right with a Mexican mark. We've got the pillars. Flip it over this way. And this is to date my best looking real. So this bad boy is going to go on a chain. Put a bevel around it. Throw it on my neck.
All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Um, Chris shall be digging with me more often. Um, he's a pretty good dude, and we we live right around the same area, so we have a lot of time together. So uh, he's trying to hide from the camera, so I'm trying to put him in the camera. But uh, we'll catch you later. See ya. All right, guys, we've been here for about 10 minutes and have dug nothing but iron. Literally, this whole front yard where I found that real is littered in iron. Here's Chris. He's he's still swinging and swinging and swinging. Um, he, found, he found a damn CCR that's big enough for King Kong. But I think I'm on the board. I have, I have some bingo. Um, I don't know what it is yet. It's penny size. Let's check it out. Now this dirt is fantastic. Focus. What do we got here? Oh, it's a weedy. Aww. Nothing but weedy excitement. Sorry about that. All right, Lincoln. You're going away again. All right, so I dug that first weedy right here, right here. Now, I just got on something else at six inches. I want everybody to know when the dirt is real sandy and loose and after it's been raining, especially like it has the past two days of raining nonstop for two days straight. It's really hard to cut a plug. You see this mess? As soon as you cut it, it falls apart. Now let's play I Spy the Roundness in the Junk. Yay, you won! I don't know what it is. We probably have twins. Nope, got an engine. We've got an engine. Hot diggity. Let me clean her up. And I'll show you the deets on this bad boy. Okie dokie. The obverse on this coin is immaculate. I believe... Focus, focus, after I clean it up, I bet you there's lib in that band, uh, but it's 1887, the reverse is toasty, at best, when I get home, I'll clean it all up and make it look all pretty, put it in some plastic and throw it in a sleeve. And there she will remain. Chris just said, I got a buckle. He said, but it's chunky, so let's check it out. Let's walk on over to the man. What you got, brother? That's yours. Oh, that's like a belt buckle. Big iron buckle. I wonder, I bet you that's a belt buckle. Just because it has the roller on here. Horse tack. I don't think has that. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. She's yeah. down there deep. Good job, bud. Thank you. Well, on to the next one. I got a nice little 77 here. About, eh, that's where I dug that Indian right there. So I'm about five feet. So if it's, uh, you know what? Let me put my headphones on. I'm gonna live dig this bad boy for you. Might as well. <laughs> All right, that's about the best we're gonna get.
And I used to doing the whole one hand dig a plug. And try to have it nice because the homeowner's outside. And unfortunately, well, it's that wet ground. Beep, 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 beep. It's probably going to be junk. It's a lot of junk in the yard. Ooh, not junk. What is that? Is that a ring? It's a ring. Check that out. Trying to figure out what side this camera's on. There we go. That's an old copper ring or brass ring. Wedding band. Let me clean it up. Let me clean it up and I'll get you a better picture. Alright, hold up. Pause just a second. Uh, instead of showing you a picture of a junk ring, uh, let me just tell you. This is the exact same thing that happened to me on the Hoover Boys. I found that ring. We thought it was gold-plated. Uh, it was looked like a brass ring. Well, I took it home. I did the same thing I did with this one. I soaked it in some lemon juice. I took a, a, uh, a sponge to it with the rough side, cleaned it up, and it's gold, baby. It's gold. Check it out. <clears throat> Here is the ring that I found on the Hoover Boys episode. The same type of pitting as on this ring. Except this ring is 18K. Okay. So it's a little bit darker yellow. This ring turned out to be 10K. Which is still just as beautiful. Um, you can see the beautiful yellow in it. Then you can see all that pitting. Well, this 18K ring right here turned out to be late 1600s. So judging by the pitting that's in this ring as well, I'm going to say it's right around the same time frame. Um, the 10K mark was in here in the band. Right in this little... Let's go here. Right in this little area right here. Where the shiny is. Where it's uh, giving me a bad reflection. So. Shazam. That's another one for the books, baby. Now back to the video. Now, you guys. I didn't, uh, I didn't decide to take this one seriously. Nor film it at first. Um, because I'm working up, uh, right here, you see this tree behind me? Well, the tree is here in this little tiny patch in the center of the driveway, a couple feet from the house. Well, uh, all I've dug here, I dug a, a clad quarter, a 2015 quarter, um, an evil one, and a soda bottle top. But, uh. And they were at like six inches in the in the rocks. Um, this one was a 85 signal at two inches. Um, so I didn't think I thought it was trash, but it doesn't look like trash. Here, let's take a look. It looks like a big old fat rim, literally. Look, I'm right there. Look, see how deep? That's not even not even two inches. Let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> fucking bazinga. 
Bazinga. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That was good. Damn. That looked just like a matron all day long. All right. Joke's on me. I'll get back to you. All right. Uh, Chris is calling my name. I think he's walking to me. All right. A luggage you... tag. A luggage tag? What? That is freaking awesome. How would that be out here? Makes you wonder. International Hotel. Room number 23. We you think a turn of the century, maybe? Early 1900s? Yeah, yeah. Could be, I mean, it could be earlier. It could be 1800s because it is uh, made of brass. Good job, bro. I, don't, I have no idea what it is yet. All right, look, this hole underneath this big ass tree in the backyard. Look, I'm just gonna be honest, it's a big ass hole. Uh, Chris dug a plug right next to it, boop, right there. And I caught it, it's a 87 is what it rang up. It rang, it rang up 80 originally at 10 inches. Uh, I dug the first plug, it wasn't there. Where it pinpointed, it wasn't there. So I started digging some more and it started coming up 87 at 10 inches. So I dug off to the side of the plug. So I made a big old mess, but I found the coin. And from here, that some bitch looks like a penny. But let's pull it out. Is it? If this is a memorial, I'm gonna shit a chicken. No. It's a fing wheat. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And all that asshole can do is just laugh at me. Look how big this hole is. Look at all these roots. I took me a half hour to dig that shit. For all you new diggers out there, the struggle's real. This shit ain't easy sometimes. But as long as you're having fun, it's a good day. Alright guys, uh, this rang up really high, but I have no idea what it is. It is round, but uh, take a look. It looks real thick. And it's kind of bent. And it's really heavy. What the hell is this? Let me, uh... Yeah, focus. I'm gonna clean it up. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, so that strange looking thing was probably my best coin spill to date. It's actually, here I'll give you a close up on it now. It's actually a war nickel. That nickel is silver. Smashed into a mercury dime smashed into a weedy and I guess it's been underground so long that it ain't coming apart how awesome is that that is that's one of the coolest things I've found in a while Bad A. Mr. Jefferson looks like shit. He must have had a rough night.
Oh. Not only did we get their permission of a lifetime. Sorry, I have to wipe my face. It's so hot down here. Not only did we get the permission of a lifetime, but we also got permission to metal detect the dirt floor basement of a 1700s house. Chris is walking out. He, uh, he's got a sneezing thing going on because it's, it's dusty and tight and hot down here. So far, we haven't found anything down here. Look how beautiful this work is. This is just one room of the two rooms down here. Um, I think I found out why we're not finding anything. Because if you look at this layer here, you can see the white band right there. That's oyster shells. Okay, so all this dirt right there, that's, that's about a foot deep. That hole is about a foot deep. Well, all this dirt came in and they, within the last 50 years, they filled all this in over top of the existing floor that was down here originally. I'm almost 100% positive. If you look, you can see the layers. Here, I'll try to show you the grade on the floor there. You see, if you can barely see it, how the left side over here, over here is lower than this side. Well, that's because somebody came in and filled this with dirt so here I'll show you the the other room real fast uh, we also here's the other room we also have permission to do to magnet fish the well that is inside the house uh, it's actually built in an overhang all this is pavers uh, hand laid brick so we can't really dig under it uh, but this fireplace right here is all dirt so I'll check that as well um, aside from that guys nothing's down here so I will get back to everybody um, we're only going to stay another hour or so uh I got my kids at home waiting on me, and so does Chris. He's got, he's got his little hoodlums hollering for him too. Uh, so maybe an hour. So I'll keep on digging for you guys. If I find something else, you'll see it. If not, well, you just got an amazing tour of an awesome house. I'm so excited. I'm, I, I've been dreaming about coming here since we dug here last time. Like I've been having dreams about it. So. On to the next page. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it out of the basement. Uh, we're going to go do one more thing before we leave here. Um, we're going to walk over to what the homeowner was told was a slave cemetery. But none of the graves have been marked yet. Um, it is directly next to the regular cemetery. Uh, the Historical Society has deemed it a... A slave cemetery but we are going to uh, be in contact with them to try to locate the graves for the historical society so that'll be really cool but uh, you'll see the adventure we're gonna dig all the way over there it's it's a uh, it's way back in that corner right there that's where I found the real right there so we're gonna we're gonna dig whoop, in a straight line we're gonna swing the whole way there so Justin. Well, I'm taking myself anywhere I go. Never left behind by my heart and soul. Never was one to stay in one place so long. You and me had a lot of chemistry, but there's too many things alive inside of me. So I 
Baby, we belong Ooh, up in Kalamazoo Ooh, down in Chattanooga Ooh, and my dreams are true Baby, you come too Baby, we belong.